Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Easy Learning with RP, where we simplify complex tasks with a smart solution. If you are tired with spending hours and hours to clean up your Excel data, then you are at the right place. Today, I am going to show you how to create a generic VBA application that will help to clean up your data in Excel with just few clicks. Here we are talking about how to clean the duplicate items, trimming the space, removing the spatial characters, and many more. All things are going to be done with the automation of VBA. By the end of this video, you will have a ready to use VBA tool that can apply to any data set to save your time and effort. So grab a coffee, open your Excel, and let's get started. In this video, we are going to use user form as a UI, going to add some checkboxes, options. We will allow user to select the range to clean up the data. So let's get started. Let me open the new blank Excel worksheet and we will go to the developer visual basic. Okay, now here we are going to add the user form. So right click on the project, insert user form. Let me adjust the form size and to save the time, let me copy and paste the form layout from my previous project. So I will open my previous project and from here I will select control A, copy and then I will go to my user form 1 and paste. Now let just adjust the layout uh, so it looks better. If we run the form with the F5, you can see the layout of the form. Uh, none of the functionality is going to work right now because we did not code anything. So let's see for that. And before doing that, let's see the control names. Uh, one by one, if I click on the checkboxes, you can see the name property where each and every control had a name. Okay, these are the checkboxes and even this is a combo box and I have given the name to that also. This is the frame. Uh, this is the find text and this is going to be replaced text. We have the command buttons for the clean and close. Let me change the name of this close to CMD close. Okay. And let's code first of all this only. Uh, we are going to write unload me. Okay. So the form when we run and execute and click on the close, it should get closed. Now, before moving further, let me show you how to toggle the controls. Default for the combo box, I have set the property of a visible as a false. Over here, you can see. Yeah. Okay. And when we click on the checkbox, it should get visible. So, for that, let me write down like this. Let me copy the name, this CMD case option. Okay. Now, this dot visible equal to not so this is going to toggle our functionality whenever uh, a checkbox is active then it should visible else it will false it out see how it works okay now let's do the same for the find and replace also and we are going to apply this on a frame so let me copy the frame name and uh, it is a visible as a false so let's do the same okay dot visible so these two uh, line of code will help us to toggle the controls so you can use the same thing anywhere anytime as you wish based on your value now let's do our main crush of the code that is cleaning up the data let me double click on clean data and here the click event is there so we will write our code here Let's create a first of all variables uh, dime ws as worksheet and uh, as we are having a dynamic VBA for any of the sheets. So we are going to set the ws as an active sheet, not with the sheet name or anything else. So we will write set ws equal to active sheet. So whichever the active sheet is there, the functionality will work on the same. Now let's create two more variables, one for the range uh, that user will define and one more variable for the cell as a range uh, that we will use in a for each loop. Now let's add a line set range equal to application dot input box. Uh, this 
will generate a dialog box to select a range and to for that we will write type equal to colon 8 okay the 8 is specifying that the uh, we are expecting a range from the user okay so now let's check if range is nothing then exit sub we don't want to proceed if user uh, did not select anything okay now let's start the first checkbox code that is removing duplicate we will start with the if condition to check if the checkbox is checked or not so we will write if chk remove duplicates dot value the value will be true if it is checked and it will be false if it is unchecked okay and this is the name of this checkbox you can see the name okay now to remove from the selected range we will write rng that is range dot remove duplicates and then we will provide the column first column whatever the range is selected we will select the first column from there comma header equal to excel excel yes okay uh, ah, missed out delay equal to with this single line of code we are able to remove duplicates from the selected range now let's see what next we have trim extra spaces okay uh, let me copy this so in this we are going to write out the code that will help to remove space in between the strings okay and to do that we are going to use the same excel functionality let me write first of all if condition dot value then and if okay uh, so here we need to check each and every cells so we are going to use for each loop here for each cell in range whatever the range is selected we are going to apply on every cell and in here uh, if the cell value is empty then we don't want to do anything so we will write if not is empty cell dot value then we are only going to run this uh, functionality if there is some value in the cell okay so here we are going to write cell dot value whatever this value is there equal to application dot trim here we are going to use excel trim function uh, for this so cell dot value for each loop will rotate each and every cell and trim all the content now let's see what is next uh, highlight the blank cells okay let me do let's add comment as a highlight blank cells okay the same way we did uh, in a previous two options we are again going to check the checkbox if it is selected or not we will loop the data using for each cell in the range next cell and here we are going to check if it is empty not empty uh, in previous we have seen the not empty here we are going to check is empty then only we need to highlight it right and to highlight we are going to use interior color so cell dot interior dot color equal to let me put rgb here you can put uh, red green and blue combination i am going to put 255 comma 255 comma 0 because uh, red and green makes a yellow okay so this is going to be highlight in a yellow let me put a comment yes okay uh, so we are done with the three functionalities of this next is removing spatial characters this is going to be a tricky one because we are going to use here a regular expressions okay to remove the spatial characters we need to create a pattern for the regular expression and to do that let me write first of all let's first of all uh, validate the check and then we are going to write uh, let me create first of all variable of re expression as an object reg exp as object and then let me set vb script regular expression like set reg expression equal to create object and in the string we will write vb script dot reg exp okay and this is going to create an object variable for this and we are going to add a pattern to this that we are going to only have small a to z capital a to z 
numeric 0 to 9 and a space character okay so for that the pattern is written in a string like this we also have to update one more property as a true that is a global reg expression dot global equal to true so this is how you can uh, create an expression uh, to validate now you know for each loop we will check each and every cell and if there is some special characters other than this then it will get replaced okay so if not is empty cell dot value then and if and here we will write cell dot value equal to regular expression dot replace whatever the value is there in case other than the pattern that we have defined if it is there it, it will create a blank over there okay so this line of code will help us to remove special characters from this now let's check what is next convert text case so based on the combo box item selected if it is a upper case lower case or a proper we will change the case for the selected range let me put a comment here first of all convert text case <coughs> now let's put a if condition the same way we did for the others we have three different options for the case so we will use select case over here so let me put select case cmd case options dot value and select we have three different case based on the selection one would be the upper lower and proper so we are going to put this three case over here now one by one we will use for each loop in each of the cases and we will look through all the selected range and we will change the case based on this so if not is empty see we are using the same uh, for each loop and the condition in each of the functionality so you might be understand very well that what is happening and now let's change the value cell dot value equal to u case whatever the cell value was there and convert it to the upper case okay uh, so without uh, typing again and again let me copy this and paste below here and instead of u case we will write l case that is lower case <coughs> so all the cells will get it in a lower now for the proper we are going to do the same thing just instead of u case let me put application dot worksheet application dot worksheet functions yeah this one dot proper so we are using excel proper function over here with this so you see that most of the all the functionalities are with a single line of code okay the rest of the code is for the checking the condition and just looping it now let's go for the find and replace last one and this is going to be a very very simple over here let's have let's have a comment find and replace let's have a if condition okay and in this uh, we are not going to replace uh, cell by cell so we are just going to find the value and replace all the range whatever it is so let me first of all create the variable let's create dime find text as string dime replace text as string okay so we are going to have two values from two text boxes that we already defined that is text find text dot value and the another one is replace text text replace text dot value okay so we have two values in these two different fields and again we are going to write a single line to identify the range dot replace we are going to replace everything so what find text comma replacement colon equal to replace text look at excel part comma match case colon equal to false so 
this is how it is going to replace everything that user has selected in a range. Now we are missing to call the form. So we will uh, create a shape over here. But before that, let's create a macro for this. Uh, let me add a module over here. Right click, insert module. And in this module, we are going to create a subroutine. Let me name show data cleaning form. We are going to write user form one dot show. That's it. And we are going to assign this to a shape in the Excel sheet. So let's create a shape for this. And let me put a text clean up data. Now right click on this shape and assign macro. And we are going to assign our show data cleanup. Now when we click on this cleanup data, we will find our user form is working. Let's check the functionality. Remove duplicate and let's clean data. See, we are getting the input range area. So I'm going to select the number of cells and going to click OK. You will notice that in the D column, some of the values are not going to update. Yeah, see, the C column is OK, but from the D column, few are there, still there, because there are extra spaces after the content. This is intentionally data. So you might be able to surprise that it has not cleaned, but it is cleaned out. Now let's check the next functionality that is a trim extra spaces. OK, so in this case, we have this cells where the value has extra space. So we will select with the clean data and we are going to specify the range and click OK. So you can see the extra space has been removed. OK. So here we can do multiple tasks at the same time. If we select all the checkboxes and give the functionality, it will execute. One thing we missed out in this code that is putting a combo box items. Uh, we don't have any combo box items right now. So to do that in the form initialize, we will add that items that is upper, lower and proper. CMD case options dot add item in the string. We are going to write upper. Let me copy this two times and we are going to change that with this lower and proper. OK, now let run the form and check. Yeah, it is there now. OK, so when we click on this and uh, clean up the data, it should convert everything. OK, let's do that to upper. and let's select everything okay and even i'm going to put the find value as a proper and let me replace with uh, universal okay so wherever the proper is there it will convert to universal as well as it will change the case and everything so i have selected all the range you can see a magic in a click yeah everything is done you can see the highlights you can see the upper case clear uh, case change spatial characters remove everything with just a click and that's it with just few clicks you have transformed messy unstructured data into a clean organized format using the vba power data cleaning application if you found this video helpful make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more practical excel tips vba tutorials and productive hacks also, let me know in the comment if there's a specific Excel challenge you like me to tackle in the next video. Your feedback is always appreciated. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning and keep excelling.